Hey guys, so just like the last video, we're doing more maintenance to R2-D2. This time I have the center foot and ankle off. And as you can see, I have him just kind of sitting on a wooden stool. This is actually a little bit sturdier than it looks. Um, it's not the best way to balance him, but that's what I got. Uh, the casters are just a standard type that you get at the hardware store. But what happens is over time, debris gets in there. And because I really can't get in here to add more lubricant, uh, the ball bearings start grinding and R2 has a difficult time uh, moving left to right because the wheels are having trouble tracking. So what we're going to do today is I have bought replacement casters. I have to get rid of the wheels that came with it. Uh, we're going to take the hardware that uh, is still good in here and place those in the new ones. And we'll get R2 back up and going with new wheels and new casters and new bearings. So are you ready? Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome to Where Nerdy is Cool. My name is Paul. This is my channel where I cover all things, well, frankly, nerdy and cool. My R2-D2 building, the BB-8 build over here behind me, the Batman suit, 3D printing, you name it, I cover it. So today I am working on the R2-D2 center foot. And as I mentioned in the opener, uh, these, um, these have been in here for a very long time. I would say probably five years uh, at the earliest and uh, these guys are just completely junked up and what one of the things that really does these things in is every year i do a an event for the portland sea dogs uh, in portland maine and they are a minor league baseball team and we are on the infield and we go rolling through the clay and all that dirt eventually gets up inside the foot shell and most importantly uh, it gets inside the wheel the bearings and of course uh, and here where the caster is supposed to spin nicely, you know, think out of your shopping cart. Uh, and uh, what's happened is that just over years, all that grit has gotten in there and it's just killing these bearings. So as a result, when I'm trying to drive R2 and maneuver left and right, there's a fair amount of resistance here because this can't move very smoothly. It's not so bad right now not under load, but you attach it back to R2-D2, you apply 200 pounds of force on this foot, and things aren't moving very well. They are pretty squeaky right now. So what these are is these are two and a half inch wheel casters. Got these at Home Depot. They're about 550 a piece, if I recall. And they, these guys are in great shape. What I need to do is I need to remove these tires. Uh, years back, I, dis I discovered that rollerblade wheels have some nice give and a little bit of bounce to them. Whereas these things that come with the, uh, the caster, uh, you know, when R2 is you know, getting ready to move from one direction to the, to the other, uh, sometimes I can leave black marks and it's just, it's just not the best wheel to have inside uh, the foot shell that I found. There's some really nice other designs uh, out there, but I don't have time to try those out right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this other one out of here. It's pretty gross. I'll show you here in the, uh, in the other footage here that uh, between the, uh, the clay and dirt and grime, and you know, of course I got cats, so I'm sure there's a fair amount of cat hair in here too. Uh, it's just gross. So I've already got one out, and in a moment here, I will uh, free uh, this guy, this tire and try to clean as much as I can around here. Um, they're plastic spacers that keep the tire centered. So fortunately, those just should just a little bit of cleanup, and then they're good to go. Uh, inside the foot shell, these guys just kind of lay in here and, and uh, just go in with uh, uh, some nylon nuts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of spacers in here and. Uh, Never fails. I'm down here filming and the cat manages to find a cat toy. Well, let's keep on rolling. So anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do is before I put these back in here, I'm gonna put a few little shims in there so that this can sit up a little bit higher. Not much, you know, we're talking maybe an eighth of an inch. Because uh, I've noticed with R2's uh, back, uh, I'm sorry, the, with the outside legs, they're tipped down a little bit. So obviously this needs a little bit of height to level things out. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and get this other one out of here. And then what we'll do is we'll start dismantling the caster and uh, get the tire and the spacers out. And then we'll start making preps to free these guys of their tires. So off we go. Found the right size. Okay. 
so far that other side isn't spinning, so that's a good. Now my thought is how hard will it be to kit this guy out of the other side? Oh, very good. It's moving. Alright. That's good news. And these are absolutely gross. Yum. We're going to be washing our hands a few times tonight. But anyway, good news is uh, these are just nylon spacers. And I'm happy to see that they've survived their trek inside the foot shell. And this other one, <laughs> look at that. Ugh. Boy, that has all kinds of junk. All right, let's clean that one up too. All right, so. And uh, this is our uh, our old dead caster. And I'm gonna throw away these little fuzz balls. And I'm also gonna check the sides of the bearing here. I want to make sure that we get rid of as much of whatever debris and stuff has gotten tangled up in here over the years. Overall, I'm Pressed. Okay, and again, that's a rollerblade uh, tire. It's it. I found it's been the best compromise of all the things I've tried. All right, and uh, let's uh, make sure the camera is uh, looking at number. Here we go. All right, same story, one more time. Where's my next customer? Change sides out again. Oh man, you're in there. There we go. Alright, sorry I haven't had a lot of <laughs> B footage here or what have you. Just kind of focusing the camera on what I'm working on because, well, I think that's going to be a little bit more interesting for the uh, fellow builders out there. All right, so we got the uh, axle out. We're not going to be needing this again. I'll hang on to it just for the sake of hanging on to it, I guess. All right, <clears throat> got our axle. Uh, let's see, let's get that spacer because it seemed to work pretty well last time. And if you're wondering, this is a number 12 washer. Uh, I can't remember. I think this is a 1024 uh, brass carriage bolt. So if you're following along from home trying to figure out what I'm doing, uh, this is what I'm working on. All right, so so I got the washer, nylon spacer. All right, and then let's uh, wiggle in. Okay, back that off just a bit. Let's get my, and of course my fingers are all nice and greasy, so trying to do, whoa, look at that, first try, haha. Uh -huh. And my nylon insert nut right here. It's funny how this one's looking like it, uh, well, when it tightens it up, it should be fine, but let's see. And I need to, that out again. All right. Oh yeah. Okay, that's number just fine. Okay, I'm not going crazy tight. Do you spin? You spin. All right. So, yuck. Those things are gross. So we have now two casters with rollerblade tires. 
and uh, we're ready to put these guys back in the foot shell. So let's do that. Okay, so as I just showed you, and uh, the, the, the casters are now back together, and I'm going to try to do this from the. Hang on, let me throw these guys away first before I get any more gunk. Going on. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this at an angle where uh, you can see. So what you can see is the way that this all holds together is that there is a uh, internal, it's kind of like a U structure. Uh, and what happens is that is under this plate that's under here and it bolts into the side of these detail pieces. And uh, then there's this plate above. And the way that I've had this set up, and I've, I've, I've messed with this a whole bunch. But the way I have this set up, you can see the top of these screws in here. And uh, so what's going on is these guys are going to just slide right on top of that. Now, as I mentioned, one of the issues I've been having is I felt that the center foot is a little too low. Uh, it doesn't have enough distance. And uh, as a result, the outer legs uh, seem to be tipping just ever so slightly. So I think what I'm going to be doing this time around is I want to put there are four of them in here, and I'm hoping I have enough spacers. I think I do, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bunch, maybe two, on each one of these little uh, standoffs, and then what I'll do is, is then I'll then, you know, bolt them all into place. And then I'm just double checking to make sure the wheel has clearance. Um, as you can see, there are cutouts here. These used to use uh, the Omni balls, but what happened was those were, those were failing. Those, those did not last me very long at all. So I'm looking at my stack of stuff. I got tons of number 10 washers. So what I'm going to do is ever so slightly, I'm just going to add two to each one of those machine screws that are sticking out. And we will gain a little bit of height from that. Now, again, I haven't measured. I don't know what the exact amount is that I need. I may regret doing this. Not that that's ever happened before. Okay, so we have that, and this guy's in. And then it's just a matter of, and I do have some newer nylon inserts I can use. Well, I take that back. Apparently, I do not. <laughs> so that's why. So we will reuse these guys. Get a few twists in there. Oh, you know what else I should do? The uh, the holes and the screw just kind of barely fit over each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add washer to the top just to make sure that when we're screwing down that the screw isn't finding itself going through the hole here we go not that it would but oh this cat here already nope 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 I want you to have a fresh start all right challenge to get your fingers around the uh, caster as it wants to spin around and kind of bite you. All right, let's put one more up here. Here's hoping. So there's still the opportunity for these guys to make contact inside. I'm hoping they don't. 
There's really not much more I can do to prevent that, but. There. All right, uh, you need to get the hardware to get the second one mounted, and uh, then it'll be time to put it back on. All right, so uh, this little guy keeps stealing my chair, so uh, yeah, say hello, Theodore. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so it's done. So now it's time to uh, uh, slide the ankle back onto the bottom of R2. There's an alignment block down there, and uh, there's four little screws that uh, it secures into. And uh, yeah, we'll get that uh, mounted up and uh, we'll fire up R2 and uh, we probably won't notice much difference, honestly, driving on the hardwood floor. Um, the real test will be when it's driving on pavement or uh, uh, other stuff during the event this weekend. So that said, let's go ahead and uh, get this all put back together. Okay, pardon the, uh, the noise, I'm behind the camera, but uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, so a couple observations real quick. I can tell that it's it's working, it's happier. Um, the other thing I'm curious about is how's our stance? Did those spacers help us at all? And I think I probably could have gone with another one or two. That's crawling around right under here. Yeah, if I were to do it again. So I think it's helped. But there we go. So let's go ahead and as I crawl around here. All right, so at least one less thing to repair. Uh, geez, I could probably get away with adding a few more spacers in there, but those, uh, I think for now, that's going to be all right. So let me go back downstairs. We'll wrap up this video, and yeah, we'll call it good. All right, so what do you think? That was a kind of a cool repair. We got this piece of crap caster that's got tons of cat hair, and I got uh, ball bearings that, well, they're probably not very ball bearings anymore after all the wear and tear they've had. But that's what it's like when you build a full-size R2-D2. If you have a busy event schedule, over time, you eventually have to make these kind of repairs. And as you can tell, sometimes you're doing a lot of it by the seat of your pants doing the MacGyver thing, as I was doing here. You know, just trying to you know, make it up as I go along here as far as, well, how many spacers should I use? How is this going to fit? I mean, that's, that's part of the adventure of droid building. So that said, that's this video for this week. I want to make some more changes to that foot in the future. But for now, this gets me through through the weekend to the next event, and I think it's gonna work just fine. Um, if you're a fan of the channel and if you're not a subscriber already, please hit the button in the corner. Make sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss any of my videos. Our subscriber numbers have been going up, up, up. It's awesome. I love the feedback you guys are giving. I like the suggestions and emails and messages I'm getting from you guys. I'm getting a lot of suggestions about videos I should be making, you know, or people have been asking about certain 3D printers, what I think of them. <laughs> if I had them, I'd tell you. Um, and that's it. Uh, again, I really enjoy doing this. If you guys want to help me out and help my channel out, there are two ways you can do so. It's patreon.com forward slash where nerdy is cool. I think I got two patrons now, so we're starting to grow a little bit over there. If you don't do Patreon or do not wish to do Patreon, but you have a PayPal, uh, you can certainly hit the PayPal button on the YouTube homepage and you can donate via that. Uh, you know, it's up to you, whatever you want to donate. If you want to chip in for a, a cup of coffee, I'm good with that too. Uh, on social media, I post all kinds of stuff on the Facebook page, where nerdy is cool, on Instagram, where nerdy is cool, and of course, my website is www.wherenerdyiscool.com. I thank you guys for watching. Please leave comments in the comment section below. I would love to know what you guys think. If you're interested in droid building, if you have questions, I'd be happy to answer your questions down below. So that's it for this time. Thanks for watching, and remember, this is where nerdy is cool.